Hello everyone. I thought I'd run through this little card that I did. Um, if you've seen in my last two videos, I was I've got a bit of an obsession with shaker cards, or at least I did until the <laughs> till I did the second one, um, which you'll see. It got a bit messy. Um, so I decided to do this one off camera and just walk you through what I'd done. Um, they're basically the same layout. I'll just bring the other two in. Same layout as these two. So if you haven't seen the videos on how to make either of these, then um, they should be on my, well, they will be on my YouTube channel if that's where you're watching or on my blog. Um, so same exact layout except that the panel in the middle is acrylic paper and I used a technique with a with coloured pencil crayons so not watercolour pencils not um, they need to be wax based as far as I understand and a blending stump which is this funny looking thing here and this is my version <laughs> or my little mini setup but basically I've got a sponge in there with some mineral spirits um, I think they're called white spirits here and I've got the odorless version um, it's still a bit pongy so you want to make sure that you've got a window open or you know vents or something um, but I just basically when I need to use the stump I'll push it into the sponge nothing major nothing don't press too hard you just want to get the end wet and you'll know that it's wet because it'll go dark um, and then what you would do is you would have coloured in your image and when you put the odorless spirits onto it or the mineral spirits onto it um, kind of like you colour in as if you're painting or colouring in and it will dissolve or I don't know what the word is but it, it sort of dissolve I suppose that's, that's what it's doing it's sort of breaking down the wax part of the wax crayons or the pencil crayons and um, it moves it and blends it and so that's what I did for all the um, candy corn the two pumpkins um, you know the stalk the leaf all that sort of stuff I just colored it in in pencil crayons I used some De La Roni ones they were literally three pound forty or something from Hobbycraft so super cheap it's it's a pack of 12 so it's nothing fancy or anything like that but they are a good make so you know they're not I didn't realize they were a day later only I just saw the price and I thought oh I'll have those <laughs> there so you don't need to use anything super expensive especially if you're just trying it out to see whether it'll work for you and I think in one of my I think I did explain this in one of my other videos but I got the mineral spirits from called it's called white uh, what's it called mineral uh, not mineral spirits hold on white spirit is what it's called here and i bought um, well, unfortunately got a massive bottle of it <laughs> from wilco so it cost me next to nothing so um yeah but basically that's what i did for the background piece um, and how i colored him in and it's a really nice technique it's sort of it's so different from coloring with with pencils and using water or um, you know with markers or alcohol markers or anything like that it's so different so I would say give it a go um, the blending stumps too you can get them from places like Hobbycraft or online or um, the first pack I ever bought came with like a charcoal set for about two quid from the works I think it was years ago and I finally found a use for these blending stump things I didn't actually know where they were when I bought it but I wanted it for the charcoal side of it anyway so that's that little guy and I just wanted to show you um, what I'd how I'd colored him in like I say the the actual card is exactly the same it's still a shaker card as in the other two videos um, same same thing with the frame and the back piece same size card the whole lot so it's a four by four was it four by four yeah it was four by four inch card and then this DSP designer series papers in the background are um, from Stampin' Up 
and they are cut to three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths um, and then this was just the largest circle and then the next size down of the Spellbinder dies um, of the large set so yeah so it was more about telling you about how I coloured them in oh the other thing I did do was I took some of my I never say this name it's a crystal clear spectrum noir uh, sparkle pen is that what you call it and I went over all the pumpkins I didn't do their eyes um, but I went over the pumpkins and then on the on the on the where am I I used a white signo no it's not a signo jelly roll pen on all the tips of the um, candy corn just to make them stand out a little bit more and on the centers of the eyes and I also used the clear wing Costello pen on the stalk and the leaf um, and I think I did their their eyes but I am running out of the stuff the reason I did that is because the wing Costello and the um, spectrum are two different colors one the wing Costello has got more of a gold shimmer and the Cosmic Shimmer's got a clear or white shimmer, so they are they do look different when you get them and they get more sparkly. But I suppose I've just got a lot of glare here, so you probably can't see that too much. <laughs> um, but it's super sparkly, so well not sparkly, it's shimmery, but it's just like wow. So that's it. <laughs> that's the end of that little mission of me uh, shaker cards. I am going to film the next video in a minute and it's going to have two cards that I have done all the prep work on but I want to show you just an alternative way of doing a shake card they're not going to shake like this you see how these move the little elements move around quite a lot they're not going to shake shake there's a song there anyway but it's just uh, if you don't want too much dimension because this does have it's quite chunky and if you want to send this in the post that could be you know you could pay more for that so um, yeah so watch out for that and I'll be back in the next video see you later guys bye